Oh my god. I don't even know what the date is. I know it's Tuesday, because I'm in work tomorrow. But the date, I have no idea. What a beautiful day it is. But we need to go and get a few supplies from the shop. It's been some time since I've been out to get any. We've had this mad beautiful weather this last week. Temperature dropped yesterday to about 10. It's now back up to about 14. And I think tomorrow's back up to in its 20s. So tonight I'm not sleeping in the tent. We're coming up to two weeks for me and Trent sleeping in there. So I'm having the night in the bed tonight because I'm at work tomorrow. But look at this, not a single cloud in the sky. So I've done my drinking challenge, set by Joe Ian and Darren Edwards. I did that, I made my nominations. So this is my drinking challenge, thanks to Joe Ian and Darren Edwards. Got me special glass. Got me some Shiraz. Cheers all. Oh. I nominate Goose, Rich Motorev, Baza Mason, Roy Mason and Stuart Thorpe. Mm. I made a little uh, order on the B&Q website. I know you can't go into store at the moment, you have to do click and collect. So you go onto B&Q website and you're in a virtual queue. You're in an online queue waiting to access the website to place your order. So my queuing time was an hour and 52 minutes. I had to wait in the queue. And as I said, and at that point I have no idea if the item I want is in stock. But I waited my hour and 52 minutes. My item was in stock, so I clicked, well, I paid, select my click and collect from my local store, and then you get an email saying we will let you know when your item is ready. It can take up to three days. So I'm now on day four, and I've had nothing. What I've got at the moment, which is a bit of a coincidence, but over Easter, I was due to redo our bathroom. We've had a new, you know, new, complete new bathroom suite. But obviously, some of it hasn't turned up yet. You can't get a skip, so I'm not able to do it at the moment. But the bathroom tap is leaking. So if we run the bath, the water comes through the kitchen ceiling. And the taps, my taps come out of the wall, so they're like, the wall embedded behind the tiles so I can't get to the plumbing and, until I actually strip the bath. So at the moment we can only use the shower which I'm not a big fan of a bath myself but we can't now because I need this plumbing part so I've got to wait. But I'm now on the day four for being cute to pick it and let me know it's ready for me to collect. So I've sort of heard nothing but a virtual queue. Can you believe it? In 2020, you're queuing on a website. But I suppose um, you can understand, I'd imagine, from people turning up. And I think there was a bit of a problem yesterday um, at a B&Q up north, somewhere in Nottingham Way or something, where they had about 400 people or something on the car park collecting their items. 
so the police attended. So I suppose it does make sense, doesn't it? What beautiful weather it is. And I remember actually last year we went to Breen, down by Western Supermare for Easter in our caravan. And it was the same then, it was absolutely, I think it was even hotter then, it was about 28, 29 degrees, it was absolutely scorching. And if I remember, I'm pretty sure I've got some drone footage from when we was camping, so we're not going on our dream tours today, we'll do our dream tours tomorrow. I need to think where we're going to go, but uh, for now I'll just put up a little bit of footage of uh, this time last year, Easter in Breen, in our caravan. So that was our little trip last year in the caravan. Absolutely glorious weather it was. And this part of Breen, um, it's a very, very popular down by Western Supermare. For those who don't know, or for those overseas, it's a tiny little part right by the coast, probably the closest to us, just past Bristol. And this area, is basically just campsites, the entire area, just campsite after campsite after campsite. The kids absolutely love it there, they've got the old usual arcades where you put the two pences in the slot and they move. It is a great little place. And you've got to say, the weather's not normally that good. Please insert card. 
Authorising one pound. We're in about. I was going to say one pound. Four of them fumes are strong. Jesus. There we go. A nice full tank. There we go. A nice full tank. So we've got a little bit of um, sad news. If you all know Jim Diesel, Jim Diesel Channel, another motor vlogger, with a fantastic channel. Um, on some of his videos just recently, he's been saying his parents have had suspected COVID-19. And he was having to do his usual, take them some essentials over some items and he put a post up yesterday saying that unfortunately um, they lost his dad to the virus so Jim mate if you're watching this our condolences from myself and all the motor rev crew um, to you and your family mate such sad news mate You know, I don't really know what to say to your mate. Or, you know, there's nothing we can say to to help it or make it better. But um, we're all thinking of you, mate. And we'll see you soon, buddy. Well, that's it, folks. That's my little essential shopping done for the day. Back to work tomorrow, so I'll have a think tonight about where we will go on our dream tours adventure. So from now until tomorrow, be safe, see you soon. Bye bye. Oosh, oosh, oosh.